So right now for my internet bill, I'm paying eighty dollars. Um, I just changed it from one um, thirty six. I used to be one thirty six because I used to have the twelve hundred. So if you look at my bill here, just down here alone, the add-ons, and I have the X five modem. I'm paying twenty five dollars extra. So after paying that extra twenty five dollars, my bill is to come up to one thirty five. I have since then downgraded it. I downgraded it again to the eighty dollar one. So right now, what I'm going to do is to change the modem and bring it back to them and save some money now this is the aries um sbg10 uh this is a wi-fi um a wi-fi modem you can see download speed six up to 628 uh modem channel six by four whatever that means uh ac 600 ac 6000 wi-fi uh speeding so high speed surfing streaming gaming and sharing with built-in wi-fi so this is compatible with cox um, Chatter Spectrum and Xfinity, which is Comcast, which is what I, which is what I have here. So if you go at the back here, and you can, guys, you can read it for yourself. This is the one we have. So this one tells you everything it does there. Now the most important thing for me is that it have the 2.5 gigahertz and the 5.0 because I've have, have lots of um, um, components and speakers in my house that uses 2.4, but the 5 is what I use on my computer for speed and stuff like that. So that's pretty good if this one doesn't work like i want it i will upgrade after probably to one of the others there but from what i've seen this one should do i paid 119 dollars for this on amazon so here we go so this is what comes in the box this is the modem at the back here again you have your ethernet ports right here and you also have your um coax cable area here you have your power supply and basically that's it. Let's go set this up. So here we go. This is the Xfinity modem right there. We're going to take this out. We're going to remove this cable from behind the Xfinity modem. Put it behind this one here. So we have it all powered up. You can see the light up there is on, power light. So guys, now that we have the coax cable and the power supply going to the, going to the router, we're gonna have to call um, Comcast or you're gonna have to call your cable company to have them hook this up. If this was their own, if this was the company, if this was um, Comcast's own router, you could do it through the, for the app. But because it's not, you have to call them and to make sure you have the model number, uh, make sure you also have all the different numbers. Uh, you'll find it on the, on, the, on the back side of it. Make sure you have that and let's go ahead and call them right now okay so it's the aries uh model number sbg10 and uh, yes the mac number is five zero right eight one two nine yeah so yeah that's 12 numbers yep okay it's going through perfect so okay you can see it so guys we're done it's connected so basically, because this is not their router, you cannot connect it directly on the app. I um, mean, even though the app said that you could, I tried on the app, it couldn't. So I called in and they connected it. I connected it through the telephone. It, take, it took about 11 minutes. Most of it was taken to really just check your credentials and just run and, and hook it up. About 11 minutes, it got connected. So that's good. So yeah, guys, so everything seems to be working really good. Um, it's connected, everything is fast. I have the, the internet. Um, I just got a surprise. The bell just the bell just rang and I went out and Xfinity just sent me the Xfinity Flex. It's a streaming TV box that they have. I didn't know they have that, but they sent this out. I'm not, I don't think I really need it to be honest. I already have um, streaming from my TV com with streaming built in in it. And also, I have um, Logitech boxes all over the house. I have Apple boxes. So, but I will still try this out. It's a 4K box, so we'll see how this works. So, look out for a video for this coming soon, guys. Guys, Charlie, I'll see you guys in the next video.